Well, hello. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing good. This is my shirt. Biden can, can ban the guns, but he can't ban these guns. Hmm. Anyways, uh, on my lunch break with Baxter. Baxter, say hi. Hey, you puppy. Hey, you good boy. Dude, I'm driving. I'm driving. Stop. So, anyways, hey, um, oh, yeah, so I got, this is kind of like a, a preview trailer to, um, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but I like rocks, and especially, um, thank you, especially rocks that have cool things in them, like rubies and sapphires and citrine and silver goods, but, um, so anyways, we've went to the mountains multiple times, found this place up there called Docks Rocks, if you ever go to Boone Mountains, you've got to go to Docks Rocks. Anyways, we found, like, I think we had a price for, like, $1,800. It was a uh, ruby, and uh, maybe I can get a picture to show it to you. It's just kind of, it's cool. It's kind of like the natural lottery. Um, treasure hunting. Like, uh, like a pirate. Like, I feel like a pirate when I go to the mountains. I'm like, argh! Argh! Say argh! Alright, well, he's not playing along. Um, so, I've had him in a bag sitting in my room. Of course, I bring him back up, and Doc actually cuts him because he's a professional. He can cut him like with a special roundy thing, and it's, you can put a top on there. And it, uh, I've done a little bit of research and found I don't have the uh, lots of money gem cutting machine, but I do have uh, a small tile saw, a new little bench thing that polishes and grinds and sands. And found a couple cool uh, techniques to. Just do some basic uh, rock cutting. Um, also, I don't know if you know this, but there's a process in which you can heat treat stuff, uh, the stones, and they change colors and get impurities out and uh, that. Um, and so, crucibles and uh, forges and stuff are really expensive. So, my buddy uh, BR actually found, I was looking for a crucible. <laughs> this sucker. He says, You know you can use a potato. I found it online. I'm like, There's no way. There ain't no way. That you can literally use a potato. Like you hollow out the little bowl and then you put the stuff in there and then you torch it. Well, I did it, well, I did it like, I think a year ago and I've just started doing it with these stones now, but I promise you, um, I think it gets up to like 1800 to 2000 degrees with the torch that I'm using. You can get hotter torches depending on the stones. Anyways, um, but yeah, this potato takes it like a beast. So this thing is really finicky. I get that to torch just right, so let's see if I can do it. Anyways, this is just a pre-video to once I finally get some of the uh, settings for um, the jewels. I'm just kind of making some cool little things for Avery and Mandy. And CJ, if you want anything. Anyways, you put it on a screw, some super glue. And if Mandy wanted an oval. But yeah, so I'm excited. Like, just plain old rocks that have like treasures inside of them. I like it a lot. So, anyways, here's a couple of videos or pictures I'll probably post, and hope you have a great day.